Well, hello, friends. I started um, dinner early tonight, and, you know, I got my grandbabies to feed, and we're in a hurry. I, you know, I've been doing stuff today, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to just put my pantry to work. We're going to do a doctored up macaroni and cheese. We're going to make a casserole out of, out of watch this. We're going to make casserole out of regular Kraft macaroni and cheese. This is how you doctor up a cheap dinner. I got chicken that I cooked earlier. I'm just doing my scallions right now. I've got peas that are going to go in here. I love the greens on these too. I want all these greens. Those are nice. I'll just cut them. I'll just slice them small. Good deal. There we go. We got that. And then I'm going to cut up a couple of cucumbers. We'll have a good dinner. I got to feed my grandbabies. So, ultimately, will you do me a favor, mister? We're getting the pot. You're what? Get the pot. A pot. No, I don't need a pot. You know what I need, honey? That blue casserole dish down underneath the silver table. Get the dish. <laughs> oh, I'm slowly getting over these shingles, friends, but man, is that just wicked, I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna spray that a little bit. I'll spray it right here, maybe. Yeah, there we go, beautiful. Okay, you know what I'm gonna have you do? for me, <laughs> make my life easier. I'm gonna have you make the macaroni and cheese. We're just gonna make it just according to the instructions on the box. Just make up your macaroni and cheese first. We're gonna throw these onions in here, scallions, okay? And then we're gonna put some peas in here because we're doing two boxes, so we'll see if we need them all or not. Yeah, so maybe yes, we can just so we got those. You're so wonderful here. Mr. Wayne is cooking with me today. This will work for you. This is chicken that I, by the way, you can use, I'm using peas. You can use mixed vegetables. You can use broccoli. You can use any vegetable you want. And there, I got one chicken breast. And I'll tell you, those are big chicken breasts from my local butcher. So maybe, you know, like the frozen chicken breast you buy or a normal sized chicken breast, probably be two chicken breasts for this. But this is one because they're enormous. Okay. We're going to add, we have the sour cream while you're in there. Dig it in the fridge. Okay. We're going to add sour cream to this. Probably about eight ounces. So I'm doubling this, so there we go. That'll be good. Give me a oh. That's good. Okay. And then they can hand me the cheese. Oh friends, look at I went to Meyer today. Mr. went to Meyer today for us. And uh, I have my, I do M perks. Always check your points and your M perks. I had like 11 or 12,000 points. So we got, for some of that, like 1,500 points, you got a uh, free gallon of milk. So we have free milk. Hey, that's $2.78 saved. Perfect. I need the cheese down there. I'm getting it. You're so wonderful. I thank you so much. What would I do without my Mr. Wayne? Okay, we're going to do a, oh, about a couple cups of this. Not too much because then it's going to be cheesy and your cheese is, or your water is boiling too, baby. 
Oh, you took my spoon away. I'll give it back to you. Or right, here's, here's another one. There you go. All right. Mm -hmm. A little cheese in there. Give me a stick of butter. Absolutely. about as unorganized as unorganized can be tonight, but this is real life in the kitchen. And we do have a ball when we cook together. All right, we'll mix this up, but we need some pepper in there. We don't need salt because we just don't need salt. We don't need that extra, but we do need pepper. Put a pinch. A pinch? You want a pinch of salt in there. That's what seasons your noodles. That's the only time you can. That's the only time you can season your noodles when they're cooking. All right, we're gonna whip this. Then all we'll have to do is mix our uh, our um, macaroni and cheese in here. <laughs> I'm not completely here, friends, but this is my life right now. Um, I'm having a heck of a time with them shingles. They're horrid. It's not so much pain as it is. Um, stinging and it's like my skin's so sensitive it's just on my right hip but it's a big enough patch to make you want to pull your hair out and Mr. Wayne has helped me with all this that's going to be nice and then we're going to bake that for a half hour oh we're going to get this out. that's where I put my trays when I'm lazy Put them in the oven. We're going to set this to 400. Okay. Now we got that mixed up. So you know what we're going to do? We're just going to set this right over here. And I, in there, I'm going to get one thing here. You want these, you like these for dinner. This will be something a little extra. I don't have any, I got all kinds of veggies left from the charcuterie board. But I know the little girls like these too. So we'll do one of these. That's good. Should I do one or two? I'd probably do two. They'll get eaten up. They've already been washed, so I don't have to worry about that. I washed them earlier, but I didn't use them for the charcuterie board. Oh, just mix it down. Or put a little blow on it. Or put a little... <laughs> Here's how it feels. <laughs> what are you going to blow from over there? Put a little bit of butter in there from the butter dish, and it won't do that. They say if you leave the wooden spoon over your pan... I'll give you over there so you can see them. Then your noodles won't boil over, but my wooden spoon would probably start on fire because of my gas stove. I there. turned it down the free, should I turn it back up? No, you turn it back up a little bit. There you go. Did you put butter in there? Mm. That's good. Down. Yep, no, it won't, it won't boil over now. Here you go. All right. So, let me go over here. This needs to go in the, to the chicky babies. And then I'm going to cut these up. And maybe you can reach up and grab a dish. The girls might want some salad. Girls? Would you like salad with dinner? Okay. Yes, please. We're going to break out the fine china. The fine china, yep. No, we're going to, uh, I'm going to 
make a salad with this. Oh, you're so cute. Uh, let's see. I just sit that on the table, put them in there, and then they can mix it together. Make what it easy. Want. We're going to make life easy. Ah, okay, Mr. Wayne. This, friends, this is tomatoes and radishes. Let me show them. I'm sorry. Tomatoes and radishes and peppers and carrots and celery that we had left over from the charcuterie board I made today. And then I cut up some more cucumbers. You see, man, that's our salad. And I'm just going to leave this all in the bags, make life easy, put it on the table. Give me just a little bit of salt and pepper for these. And then they can make their own salad. You can't get much easier than that. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you, honey. Okay, I'm going to go set this on the table. Say hi, friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> Man, I... Okay, friends. Mr. Wayne has got this done. Just take your macaroni and cheese and pour it right in there. The recipe calls for one box, but you know what? One box just doesn't cut it anymore unless there's just two of yous. We got grandchildren that eat like crazy, so actually that's gonna go in there. And I'll use this. Look at how nice that looks. That all mixed up. Do you want the cracker topping? I don't. I don't like it. I you could put a like the Ritz crackers with a little bit of butter and crushed crackers on the top. I don't like that. We don't care for that too well. So we just mix it all up real good. This is beautiful. We don't even need any cheese on top because I tell you, this is just gonna be gorgeous and delicious the way it is. Okay? There's our pan. I'll hold it, you scrape it. I love Mr. Wayne. He does so good. That's it. Oh, beautiful. You can have that. Actually, we're not going to waste that. Watch this. We're not going to waste any of this. Wait till you see how much comes out of this. Okay. Watch this. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Oh, that's got to go in the sink. I'll take that. You got that? I'm sure you smooth it out. And the oven is set to go. It's at 400 degrees. This is going to go in the oven for 30 minutes. That's going to be divine. You ready? You got smooth enough? Here we go. You get to lick the spoon. In the oven she goes 30 minutes. We'll see you back in 30 minutes, friends. I'm going to show you how quick and easy you can make homemade Cool Whip. Because we got, we got all kinds of beautiful fresh fruit. And that's what we're going to have for dessert. So, I'm going to show you how quickly you can make this. And it's easy. You probably already got the stuff right in your pantry. Okay, I'm going to use my... Ninja! It's not a ninja. My immersion blender with my whisk attachment. That will do really nice. A ninja. Okay, so we are going to use, I have to get all my stuff. We're going to use two cups of heavy whipping cream.
Hang on. Okay, there's two cups of beautiful heavy whipping cream. Oh, you didn't throw the lid out, did you? <laughs> Get it off the other one. We'll rinse it off. Oh my gosh, you're hilarious. And about a teaspoon of vanilla. You put that away. And then we're going to use... I'm doubling this, so we're going to use about a quarter cup this is four tablespoons yeah a quarter cup of powdered sugar and a little bit more than that okay that's it that's all that goes in it you can put that back in the pantry for me i love you thank you Okay, so now that we got that, I'm going to start mixing this slow so I don't wind up, wind up with it all over my kitchen. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now we're just going to mix this. You can put this in your stand mixer. You can use your hand mixer. Or you can use your... Ninja! <laughs> you know what? Thank you for your help. I love you. Mm -hmm. You're so sweet. Now, am I? Well, hold that. Okay, just hold that. When you have it, when you have it, it's going all over the place. It is. I have it ever going everywhere. I'm just going to take this, dump it in this jug. You got to move that, honey. It's all right. I'll clean it up. Okay. I should have done this in the first place. All right. Now, now you can mix the heck out of it. It takes just a little bit. Perfect. That did it right there. And look at that. I'll show you when I put it on the... You can unplug that. No, I won't. There. All right, this is nice looking, friends. And there's your beautiful Cool Whip. See that? Gorgeous. Taste it? The good? Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Oh, it is. Can I wash the spoon? If it was just me and you, we wouldn't care. We did off the same spoon, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. ah. All right. Now, before we put, I'm going to bring it up closer so you can see this. Okay, so we got this right here. Look at those beautiful big berries. Yeah, we can put one in there. Put a couple in each one of these. Ah, did you see that one? Uh huh. No. Jumped out. Okay. I put a little bit of sugar in my berries earlier. That's Miss Stella's. Miss Stella doesn't want very much. She's like a little birdie. Now these blueberries are wonderful. Look at 
This is a beautiful, healthy dessert. All these berries are so good for you. And I'm going to put these in with the strawberries, okay? There we go. I'm going to take that back. I'll put the lid on these. Okay. So we got our four berries. Bowls of berries. Beautiful. Look at that gorgeous Cool Whip. And when CC and Gussie boy are here, they don't want berries. They want just a cream. <laughs> so I have to give them a bowl of cream. All right. You want the spoon? You can't have the rest of it. Well, you want the rest of the cream? I'll put on your berries. How's that? That's right. We'll give the girls a little more. Oh, well, you can have that. I love the friends. Beautiful. All that beautiful homemade cream on those gorgeous berries. We're going to put our dessert at the table. We've got a few more minutes left on our casserole, and we'll see you when that's done. And look at him eating that. He's going to have it all over his face and his beard. Yeah. Like a little kid in a candy store. I love it. <laughs> All right, friends, this is delicate, bubbling, and beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. That turned out really nice, mister. All right, so don't burn myself. I'll show you this close up in just a minute. This is our fine china. Ha! Love it. Oh, look at that's beautiful. Show that to him. I'll put the recipe for this in the description box. Oh, it's this is all over. This is yummy. Look at that with the peas. Now it would be good with broccoli too, but Mr. Wayne, broccoli isn't his favorite, so we're using peas. That way I know he can get his veggies too. You know what? I need to shut that up so you can see me better. What? The stove light. Little Miss Stella. I already got it. Okay. I, I don't know how much little Miss Stella wants. Probably not very much. Yes. Does that you want more than that? No, that's good. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. This is wonderful, and this is okay. cheesy. So look at friends. Oh, it's wonderful. Easy to make, and it's cheap. So you all have a wonderful night. Thanks for hanging out and cooking with us in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Turn it off? Yeah.